So for the first time in my life, I've been trying out weekly meal planning and I'm really excited to make a video talking about it because it's been such a positive thing for me. It's been so helpful in so many different ways. We used to go shopping about every two days. So we'd only have about two days worth of food and then we'd pop to the shops. I don't know why it only recently occurred to me to start weekly meal planning because I'm already sold on it. I don't see myself stopping this anytime soon. So I thought I would just tell you about why I started doing it and the benefits I have noticed and how I do it, like literally what I do. So I've been doing this for about three weeks now and the first week I didn't do this first step, but I think it's been really helpful. There was so much space being taken up in my cupboards by tins and different noodles and things that had been there for months and months and months. They're all in date, but I just wasn't using them. I bought them because I planned to use them at some point and then they just sat there. So this week I decided before I planned my meals, I was gonna do like a stock take. I was gonna note down everything I had and next to some of the things I wrote down their use by dates and how much exactly I had of it. First priority was to use up things that were in the fridge that needed eating before they go bad. That might sound like a lot of effort, but it came in really, really useful and I don't think it's the kind of thing that I will need to keep doing. I can just subtract what I know I've eaten. Then I sit down to make my plan. Um, I considered trying to beautify my plan and make it look all nice and pretty for this video, but I decided no, I was just gonna show you honestly, literally what my plan has been looking like so far. And it's, it's, a, it's a mess, but it's a functional mess. <laughs> I just wrote down each day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I didn't do it in the clip that I shot, but afterwards I went back in and wrote down the dates next to the days, and that was really useful for comparing against the used by dates of the things I already had, and the things I was buying in the shop. So when I looked at my plan, I knew I need to buy this to last until then. I hope that makes sense. The dates are really useful. <laughs> then my favourite part is just sitting down and deciding what I'm going to eat, having a look through some online recipes, thinking about what you want to incorporate into your diet, what you might be lacking in. <music> having that inventory list like just a page away came in really useful for looking at recipes that use up you know the things I already have then on the page next to that I jotted down a quite scruffy shopping list <laughs> so this was my little notebook when I was done in on the first page I also did a little like rough to-do list I needed to double check something with my nan that I was ordering for her I needed to prepare my patreon packages I needed to film two videos I have a goal at the minute to exercise every day for an hour if I can then if I have a good chunk of spare time I'd like to do more tidying and decluttering and work on little dough some more then I have my inventory my shopping list and my meal plan it's kind of scruffy but it works for me. <laughs> this fabulous notebook was a Valentine's Day gift from my nan. Aren't you jealous? <laughs> I know you say that you're sorry and that might be true No matter how bad you hurt me I go back to you Don't know So why did I start weekly meal planning, you might ask? For a couple of weeks in a row, 
I ended up wasting quite a bit of fresh food and I always feel so bad about it. And I didn't remember exactly what was in my fridge, when it needed to be used by, what my initial plans were when I was like wandering around in Tesco. I would often just decide what to cook as I was walking around. I think me and Alex even had an argument in Tesco once because we just didn't know what to eat for dinner and we spent so much time in there just wandering around. And when we're wandering around without a plan, we don't always make the best decisions. <laughs> it was a waste of time and it took up, you know, a lot of attention when we wanted to be doing other things. The first week I sat down to, to plan, it took me quite a bit of time, which worried me, but I feel like I've gained back so much time and effort elsewhere that is worth it. I definitely, 100%, do not waste as much stuff as I did before. I don't have the extra stuff to waste because if it's not on my list, I don't buy it. I just look at my list and go get what I need and then I'm done. And what we spend on a weekly shop now, sometimes we would spend the same, if not more, on a two day shop, an every two day shop. Because we were browsing, we were just pottering around, we'd see different things. Ooh, I wanna try this, I wanna try this. And now I'm planning loads of healthy, fresh meals. We buy so many vegetables. We've always bought vegetables, but now I need to get a bigger fruit bowl because like everything can't fit in and it's so much cheaper. Veg is cheap. <laughs> and like mentally, I've just saved time. I don't have to think about it. I just check my notebook and I'm like, ooh, curry tonight. It might sound a bit odd and it's kind of hard to explain, but it feels like a lot more time and space has been opened up in my mind, just not at all being concerned about what we've got in the fridge all week, because I know it's all good. I've improved my diet a lot. I'm feeling much better. My skin is looking much better. I've been trying more new things. I've been trying more new recipes and I've been making the most of what I already have. It's so helpful to be able to see your week in meals at a glance. I can't believe it took me this long to do this. Like growing up, my family always did weekly shops. They'd have a massive shopping list of stuff for a week. I guess I never considered doing that for myself because it was just us two and we lived quite close to a shop. So we just sort of wandered down there as and when we needed stuff. And I thought I was saving money because I could buy things that were reduced. You know, if I've shopped more regularly for less stuff, but it just didn't work out that way in reality. We ended up just wandering around and buying things that we didn't need. I think a weekly meal plan could be very helpful for new vegans or aspiring vegans. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. I really, really want to start making more kind of self-improvement videos. That's a genre I can just get down with right now. I'm on a bit of a journey currently with my diet and my lifestyle. There's things I'm just trying to change and improve. I just wanna feel and be like the best I can be and it's going really well. I feel like I can help because I'm on this journey as well. The past year or so um, and definitely this year a big like self-improvement focused years for me. Maybe it's because I'm getting old feeling my mortality. Let me know what you think. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video or pop a comment down below. Perhaps you can give me some advice that I haven't considered to do with something. Thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you again soon. Bye bye.